Chris Harrison, of course, from The Bachelor, and Bruce Springsteen playing in back of us. Well, a lot of people have their own theme music. I have my own theme band, and, uh, <laughs> so I've hired Bruce Springsteen for the week just to follow me around. So whenever I walk into an interview, the boss is on. He just starts playing. How did you yeah. How did you finagle that? I'm not going to lie. It was expensive, and I've now moved out of my house. I live in a box behind Staples Center, but I thought it was worth it. I think it's definitely it's worth it. It's all about it. showmanship. All about showmanship. <laughs> Speaking of shows, thank you so much for my entertainment every Monday night with me and my girlfriend. We sit and we watch the show, and I... Personally, I think I, I like I like The Bachelor better because I just these women I, I don't get they're just they're nuts it's some a, of them. It's a phenomenal study in human behavior, isn't it? It really I mean, is. To watch these people, to watch them interact, to watch how it all you know either melts down or goes off. It's amazing. And when you come on, it's never good news. Apparently, you know, I'm like they, they call me the angel of death when I right. come in. I'm like, come on, it's not all bad. But yeah, like this week, you know, when I had to come in and. and kind of help KCS off the show. Right. Although I will say this, in, in my defense, it was more of a conversation. I just had enough to have a conversation and when she convinced me that she was not in love with Ben and she was actually still in love with her old boyfriend, then it was it was time to go. And I mean, do you think, I mean, so what was it all about for her then? Was it about coming on and really finding love or was it just about maybe getting yeah. some fame? Well, you know, here's the thing. People come on for different reasons. There are those that come on for their 15 minutes. I'm not naive to think that everyone's there for genuine reasons, but at the same time, you know, I think she came on to get over this guy, to try and move past him and move on in her life, and, and was hoping Ben would be that guy that would kind of get her off the schneid and move her on, which, all fine, but it didn't happen, and it wasn't working, so therefore she needed to go. The model, what is her name? Courtney. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced Courtney thinks she's on Survivor. I, she's on the wrong show. Yeah, she's out. She's there to outwit and outplay and outlast for sure. I mean, I, yeah, she definitely has that game mentality of, uh, she says, winning. And, and I think that rubs people the wrong way because it shouldn't just be about winning. But in her defense, you know, it is a bit of a game, dating, sure. finding love. And when you're competing with everybody in the same room, it is a bit of a contest. And I think she wears that too much on her sleeve and it's it's abrasive but at the same time you have to respect the fact that it is working a little bit no absolutely and I've always wanted to know you, you know you're you you kick off the show you're there for the rose ceremony you maybe deliver some bad news throughout the hour or two hours what are you doing during the downtime between roses and ruining people's lives <laughs> um, no I do have a lot of downtime like you know coming up this week we're in Belize I mean I brought my family in with me and to be honest, we did some snorkeling, we did some fishing and some diving and, you know, see Which the, dive. the diving's amazing there. But wherever I go around the world, I really do try and take in the culture and take into these local places. And the great thing about our show, too, is we hire a lot of locals everywhere we go. And so I hook up with these locals and, I'm, you know, try and stay off the beaten path and find, sure. you know, the cool places in, you know, wherever we are in Turkey or, Ist you know, where, anywhere. And this is what, season 11 now? God, no, it's been like 23. It's been 10 years. This, 10 this years. is actually our 10-year anniversary, Ben Show, which is stunning. As you know, in this game, it right. doesn't happen in TV. It's amazing. No, I mean, did you ever think that it would last 10 years? No, anybody who does, you know, say their show's going to go a decade is a damn liar. I mean, whether it's Idol or Dancing with the Stars or whatever, all those shows were passed by somebody, fired by somebody, and then picked up, and then it takes off. I mean, you never know what, what's going to hit and then why it's going to resonate with somebody. And we, we have resonated with... You know, we've now crossed that generation to where people that grew up on our show are now watching as adults, which is amazing to think. And you're on a couple other shows also. You're on HGTV. Well, I did Designers Challenge. Right. Yeah, if I did Designers Challenge for eight to ten years. We don't produce any more of those, but I think they still run it ad nauseum now, and th those will haunt me for forever. But it, I did. I was very proud of that show. But I mean, the reason I'm here at the Grammys is uh, I executive produce and host the uh, red carpet for TV Guide Network, mm -hmm. and have done that for the last three years. And uh, we do the Grammys, Oscar, you know, all the big red carpets. And uh, so yeah, this week it's it's all music, which is cool. I mean. As you know, because you're more in this game than even I am, music is unlike any other. And, you know, you have the Oscars and it is what it is, but the Grammys just has this certain feel about it. And it's fantastic. Now, you're from Texas, so do you gravitate more towards country music? or like, I do love it. To? I do love country, but I have this bizarre, like if you looked at my, my phone, I have this bizarre eclectic mix from, I mean, from Kanye to Black Keys to Bonnie Vare to George Strait and Lady Antebellum. I, I do love it all. Um, and so I, I, the great thing about the red carpet is, you know, I'll get to see all those people. Um, you know, even talking to the Beach Boys and who are performing their 50th anniversary show, and they'll be playing with Adam Levine and Maroon 5 and Foster the People Sunday. So you just get these Grammy moments you don't get anywhere else. Now, so you, you produce, you executive produce the red carpet mm -hmm. thing. There's another host, I'm not going to mention his name. He does it for E. Right. So does that mean that you're looking for, like, the next Kardashian family? I hope the answer is no. Let me tell you something. Seacrest, if I could hitch... <laughs> 
onto that star, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. No, and the funny thing is, Ryan and I uh, are very much friends. I love him to death. He's the hardest working son of a bitch you'll ever meet. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's, you know, so he and I are always placed by the red carpet next to each other, and we always fight for guests. <laughs> The good news is I have better hair and I'm a little bit taller. so I, You I do. Your hair looks more. amazing Thank today. Thank you. It Just really does. So uh, last thing, Adele's going to be performing. Yeah. It's the first time she's performed since she had her throat surgery. Is she an artist that you're you're into oh, and, and you she like? She is. My daughter, who's eight, only eight, is, is a singer, and she loves great singers. And, and right now we're both kind of gravitating towards Adele because she's just – God, she just seems so fresh, so rich, and so good. And at the same time, she has this spirit about her and this charisma to own who she is because she's not this twinky little model. No. And I love that. And she embraces She's a woman. It. Yeah. And she, she owns everything about herself, not to mention she has one of the most beautiful set of pipes we've ever seen. Um, so I'm really anxious to hear her get back. And I'm hoping, I think everyone has their fingers crossed, that she comes back as, as good as ever. So we we'll make sure everybody sets the DVR, TV, yep. TV Guide channel. TV Guide Network, uh, Sunday we'll have the uh, pre-show and the red carpet. And ev everyone you would ever want that isn't a Kardashian. will be there. <laughs> Chris will be interviewing him.